Well, Steve White, Trek Boy 89 for Steve Arts 89. Well, being a real Star Trek fan and self-appointed gatekeeper, my favourite Star Trek film, of course, is Star Trek The Motion Picture. And for the 45th anniversary, they're actually re-releasing the original theatrical cut in Blu-ray and 4K in a steelbook with a booklet. So that's what I will be buying it for. Um, now, when they released this version, and in Australia we're lucky to get an edition with four discs. We got an extra disc that other countries didn't get. Um, they didn't release um, the extended video version in Blu-ray. They had a 4K version of the original theatrical film with a branching version of the extended version and they finished the effects on that one scene um, with the airlock. But when they did that on 4K, they didn't do the corresponding Blu-ray disc. They just included the regular Blu-ray disc, which was um, just got a little bit of a makeover. It was basically just the standard Blu-ray disc. And that's what you get here. It's just the standard Blu-ray disc, the theatrical film, and the 4K version. Now, the 4K version might have the branching extended version on it, but I don't believe it's um, the Blu-ray is the same version. So what I'd love is for this to be the Blu-ray and 4K version of the theatrical film with both the original theatrical version and the extended video version on both Blu-ray and 4K. That would be worth the purchase. Now I'm going to buy it for the Steelbook because the 50th anniversary Steelbook, um, they had too much 50th anniversary logos and gold and all that on it. I just, I didn't like it. This one is really nice. It's just the, the original um, poster art and on the back it says, I think the human adventure is just beginning. Um, one of the logos is on the back, I've forgotten, one of the slogans is on the back from the advertising. And that's it, just some stars and that. So that's nice. And it's got a picture on the inside of um, some promotional shots of the cast walking through VG with all this bright coloured lighting in the background and all that um, before they just use the blue screen for filming. Um, so I'm happy they're doing the, 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 um, the 40th anniversary release. It, it gives some, you know, um, respect to the film and the blue, um, the, um, the steel book is something to buy on its own and also there's a booklet although the booklet's mostly recreating uh, a press release that was done um, a booklet was done back in the time back in the day so I'd much rather have a modern retrospective book or maybe a bit of both but it's something so I'm buying it for the, the basically the extras the um the the steel book and the booklet because I'm pretty sure the disc is going to be the same disc I've already got um, which is the film on 4k with the branching extended version and the film, theatrical film, um, in Blu-ray with no nothing else. But what I really, really wish, which would justify, instead of just repackaging the same discs, give us one new disc, give us new content on the actual disc by having the um, the theatrical and the extended version on Blu-ray, which we didn't have before. Because I still don't have a 4, 4K player, so I can't watch the extended version. I mean, I've got the extended version on video still, um, with the old unfinished... Um, effect shot from the airlock, but um, I would like to see the um, the real one. But I don't want to buy 4K. I don't, I don't want to buy a player. I'm not really collecting 4K. I'm only I buy them if there's other things um, in the set. Like I bought this this set for the booklet, for the um, the stickers and the cards and um, the the film on Blu-ray, basically um, the director's edition, the new director's edition on Blu-ray. Because this is the third version. That's the Three versions of the film now. The original theatrical version, then the extended video version, wasn't really official. But then we got the director's edition, which was good, but they had budget issues and some of the effects were really low quality and it was the whole thing was done in standard definition, so it couldn't be upgraded. That was why we got the push to do the new 4K director's edition, but then they, they improved a lot of scenes and they did a good job of restoring the film in some ways, but they also ruined a few scenes by changing things and they didn't improve on them and they don't match the style. Instead of reusing original plates and finishing those, they made up their own just because, the, in my opinion, the, um, the, the people involved in the production just wanted to put their stamp on the movie and have shots that they did that were their designs. It's all about them and how they wanted to look, not how you know, Robert Wise wanted it to look and how it was originally designed and how fans who've seen those sketches and unfinished plates and stuff wanted to see it done. So I wasn't happy with their release. I criticised that. And they had me removed from the, all, all the Star Trek the motion picture Facebook groups and that. and, and um, So I got cancelled for criticising the, um, the also some colour variations that they had in some pictures and that that they released that actually weren't accurate to what was in the film, but it appeared to be. So I criticised that and um, they, got, they basically got rid of me 
some of the people who were actually involved in the production were in these groups and they had been removed. So um, that was pretty heartbreaking because I love the motion picture and seeing, talking about those movies all the time and being part of the fan groups with those was something I really enjoyed and I got kicked out. So um, yes, happy they're doing a 40th anniversary release, shows respect to the film. Yes, I'm going to get this, the release because of the steel book and the extra booklet and stuff like that. But I would like some new, some more, some new content, some more content. Um, and I'd like the extended version on Blu-ray, not just on the 4K disc. So I'm hoping that's what we get. I'm hoping they put some real money into this, but I doubt they will. I think they're just going to repackage the two discs that were already in. This, which I've already got. So we'll see. I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of Star Trek The Motion Picture, the director's editions, the, the original theatrical version, the extended video version, the whole lot. It's my favourite film. It's the best of the Star Trek films.